This video has been funded in part by the Guild via Patreon. Check out the links in the description or at the end of this video for more details. Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Chris Gildart and welcome back to Warriors Orochi Z. Uh, yeah, if you missed the, uh, the Monday episode, I'm actually uploading Warriors Orochi Z Monday and Wednesday right now because Attack on Titan 2 kind of uh, glitched out on me. I can't continue that game, so we're just going to keep playing through the story on way. We're going to do our darndest to get uh, the Dynasty Warrior 6 outfit for uh, Jung Liao here. I've actually went and beefed up his weapon a little bit, so we should be able to kill things a little bit easier as well on top of, uh, you know, just already being pretty beefy to begin with. Um, yeah. I just, I really want to show some screen time for the Dynasty Warrior 6 outfits and like, I, I guess worst case scenario, I can do the last episode as uh, Xiao Yun with uh, the, the, the his Dynasty Warrior 6 outfit because he's the only one that I currently have the Dynasty Warrior 6 costume unlocked, so let me know if you'd like to see that uh, before we move on to the new uh, schedule. I'll do that as next Wednesday's episode. So yeah, just leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you'd like to see that, um, or if you think I should be playing as Zhang Liao, Xu Huang, and Cao Pi on my own time, do some grinding, and yeah, get, give you that... Uh, that extra video but yeah we're getting closer and closer to the new schedule and I'm getting excited because that's that's gonna be a lot more time to put towards the scripted videos uh, I'm gonna be able to have a little bit more time to maybe play some games on my own time which hasn't quite happened a whole lot uh, I've been trying to do it lately with uh, Fire Emblem Three Houses but it's it's been it's been tough uh, I am so glad that, uh, you know, the Switch is <laughs> portable as well as plays on uh, the TV, because I, I am more of a console gamer, but, you know, having, having the ability to take it anywhere I go so I can play this goddamn game that I feel behind in already, like... I'm going to be completely honest with you, I'm recording these videos like a week ahead because that's what I do, um, but I'm on chapter 9, and my friend Tark's Gauntlet is already completed two runs of the game. It's like, fuck. <laughs> I, I know I take my JRPGs slow, but god damn. And even my Western RPGs, just RPGs in general. Anything with stats, I take slow because I like to grind. I like to be nice and beefy and take on the the bosses with the biggest and best moves. And yeah, I just I just like that and having the uh, the the class system of Fire Emblem Three Houses is just amazing like that that's something that gives me that feeling of progression which is why I love when like G Dynasty Warriors games have those costumes and the uh, weapons and stuff like that helps me feel like I'm accomplishing something while playing through these games But maybe that's just me. Uh, comment below if you're also a grinder that enjoys like seeing these little extra things that you can unlock uh, by leveling up your characters, by leveling up your weapons, or playing through the story you unlock the weapons and that sort of stuff. Like, yeah, it's just I, I enjoy that. I enjoy that aspect of you know just feeling the growth of a character that's that's something that's very important to me as a gameplay over story kind of person 
Like, I'm enjoying the story of Fire Emblem Three Houses. But I am enjoying the gameplay more. And that that's the big thing, like... With the Sunday 6, one of the topics that I was tempted to do... Oh, God damn it! One of the topics that I was tempted to do was... Uh, six games that I enjoyed the story more than the gameplay. Because... Like... Being somebody who cares more about gameplay and just having fun... That, like... I could go on and on about why a game is fun. But... Story is is a little harder for me to describe, so like, I don't know, I, I've been tempted to write a bunch of list scripts, so I, I just need to kind of focus on one just so I can get one of these videos done for you. And like, I've started so many scripts, I've got so many half scripts, like... I just need to finish some. But I I am putting all of the focus on the Dynasty Warriors 6 versus Dynasty Warriors. Uh Dynasty Warriors 9. I wasn't sure if uh, what I was seeing was a glitch. I or something like it looked like the character models for these ninjas weren't moving in the on the horizon. I don't know if if I was just seeing things cuz I wasn't looking directly at it and uh yeah. I don't know. I'm going to have to look at it in post and be like, "What the fuck? What was that?" How are we doing for proficiency? It's at 8. We still need to get four more officer kills. So let's uh let let's get this get this uh base out of the way, this gate captain. And we'll head back down to the center. <clears throat> okay. Here we go. Gotta love it when you like clear out one area and have to go back. Thank God this isn't uh, Dynasty Warrior 6 with the Rembu system. God damn it, do I ever hate that. <laughs> now I should play this game on 360 and see if there's actually a difference in the graphics. Because, like, I've been tempted to import, I mean I'm going to do it anyways, you know, at some point in time. But importing uh, the Samurai Warriors 2 HD collection for PS2 or PS3. I already have all of the games for PS2, but like, part of me is like, I don't really need to because I have it on 360. So why would I import the Japanese version? You know. Uh, so I'd like to see if there's an actual difference if I can notice an actual difference between the graphics, but I don't think there is. Like, I feel like this is exactly how Warriors Orochi 1 looks on 360. I don't think the texture models are any better. In fact, I, I feel like the resolution might be uh, a little lower on PS3. I could be wrong, but that's how I feel looking at some of the uh, or maybe it's just the aliasing, because when I look at the stairs in the distance here, uh, they do look a little jagged. But, I don't know. I I'm... I've become one of those sticklers, and it sucks. <laughs> because it... I want a 4K TV now, and I never wanted a 4K TV until I owned a, a 1X. Like... I was perfectly okay with my base PS4, and now I'm like, no, I'm buying everything for Xbox One X, because it gets the enhancements. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I just feel like one of those graphic prudes, like, oh, you play your games in 720? Puh.
Like, I would love to see all of these classic Warriors games become backwards compatible on Xbox One X with enhancements. Maybe a widescreen enhancement plus, like, having camera control. Ugh. Ugh. Ugh, just take my money. That's why I say, like, I would kill for an HD remake of the classic games. Because then you could just, you know, make them better. Maybe include the weapon changing system of Dynasty Warriors 7 and 8. Uh, maybe include, like, other costumes from older games, newer games, all of the games. Like, there is so much you could do with Dynasty Warriors, like, HD collection or whatever. But I, I, I don't feel like Koei's going to do it. Like, that... I just... I don't think they'll ever do an HD remaster or even a remake of any of the Dynasty Warriors. Uh... Like, even with the Monster Rancher coming out, like, it's not an HD remaster. It's apparently a port, according to uh, some of the translations. Which is disappointing, because I would love to see a new... Monster Rancher game, and hopefully this is going to be, you know, it's going to spark that want to see Monster Rancher games. Like, that series just needs to come back. I would love to see a resurgence of monster collecting animes and games, because Pokemon is the only one, like, Yokai Watch is kind of kind of there, but Digimon has pretty much died, uh, which is disappointing. Metabots is nowhere to be seen. Monster Rancher is barely trying. Uh, yeah, there's, there's so many things that could just be better, <laughs> and I would like to see them be better because... Like, I, I like those types of games. And it kind of goes back to that whole, like, f feeling of progression. Because you you feel like you're progressing because you're catching these stronger Pokemon or evolving them into stronger Pokemon. You know what I mean? Can I break this open? Or is this... Oh, yeah, I can break it open. Sweet. I have no idea if that's, like, just a secret thing, or... Yeah, I don't know. Because I could probably finish this stage without even letting Goemon out of there. I can't remember anything about Warriors Orochi 1. Warriors Orochi 2, like, I still don't remember everything, but I remember a lot more, and... I see people going on about how much better Warriors Rochi 1 is to 2. And I know it had more uh, story stages, but I mean... I, I just played 2 a lot more. I don't know if there's any specific reason. <laughs> Other than maybe, like, the Dynasty Warriors 4 costumes are in it, and they weren't in Warriors Rochi 1 on 360. I believe they were in the PS2 version. I'm like 100% sure they were in the PS2 version. Uh, let's... Oh, well, I guess we'll call our horse here. Uh, I was actually going to go up and kill those couple of troops in the center and grab my horse, but I guess we'll grab the horse now and go over where Goemon is. Take out some of these people over here and... Yeah. Then we'll... Hopefully there won't be any other surprises and we can end this video. Because I feel like this has been a fairly long episode. I it might not actually be. I, I think I'm looking at uh, the recording and it's only been like a little under 15 minutes. So, yeah. 
Oh, that didn't drop anything. Of course they didn't. Wouldn't drop some experience or anything. They probably don't even count as officers for my proficiency. Bastards. I need that proficiency. What am, what am I at? I'm at 10. Sweet. I'm going to get the Dynasty Warriors 4 outfit for the next episode. Now, hopefully, hopefully I can maybe just, maybe I'll have to do some grinding uh, just to get that Dynasty Warriors 6 outfit. <sighs> I just, I, I wanted to play some Fire Emblem in my own time. Because I, I still need to beat the Black Eagle story. I haven't even got to... Like, there's apparently... Spoiler alert! S skip now or forever be spoiled for something in Fire Emblem, but there's a time skip at Chapter 12. Um, yeah. That, that was spoiled for me. I, I don't think of it much as a spoiler, considering, you know, your students have to grow up at some point. Um, but yeah, I'm on chapter 9 out of 12. So what's going to happen now? Okay, there's people up here. <coughs> Helping Dong Shuo. Like, I seriously have no recollection of Warriors Orochi 1. But I feel like once we get to the Warriors Orochi 2 stages, I'm going to feel a lot more comfortable. I'm going to know where things are. I'm going to know what to do. Uh, like, there's not much for me to know what to do, but I don't know if there's any secrets or any ways that I should be playing these stages. I know with Dynasty War or Warriors Orochi 2. There's no specific way to play the stages. You'll just unlock all the characters naturally. <coughs> Excuse me. So we might as well take out as many of these troops as possible. Try to get that uh, those proficiency increases. We'll make our way down to the center of the stage again. And uh, yeah, we're going to see... Try to get, uh, try to get closer to that Dynasty Warrior 6 outfit. <sighs> I don't know if I mentioned it in one of my previous episodes. Okay, I don't know why that, uh, stopped there for a moment. But I don't know if I mentioned it in a previous episode, but I don't know if Warriors Rochi 1 has a better stage to grind proficiency than Warriors Rochi 2. Because... There's two stages that are really good. One's in Wu. It's pretty short. You don't get as much experience or much uh, proficiency. Uh, but it's short. It's quick. Uh, so, I mean, if you are if you want to keep getting variety, so, like, you go in with a random officer kind of thing, you know, you'll be done and, like, it'll be quick. But where... If you're ju if you're in it for the long haul and you don't care how long the stage is specifically, uh, I feel like the last stage of Wei's story, Guan Du, is actually the best one to grind out proficiency because there's so many officers. There's like I've gotten it down to like a science on how to complete the stage kill everyone before uh, another officer, like one of your allies ends up killing one of the uh, enemy officers. Because uh, like proficiency increases the same no matter what difficulty you're on. So you might as well play it on easy so that uh, it's it goes by much faster. Uh, yeah. So, pretty much once I unlock that stage, and it's going to be a while, I'm going to just grind every Dynasty Warriors character up to have their Dynasty Warriors 6 outfit. Like, that's that's a given. And uh, I wonder if there's characters in my uh, Warriors Rochi 2 save file that are still under 20 proficiency. 
I, I, I know I had a spreadsheet at one point that kind of, uh, like, calculated all of my, uh, proficiencies from all of my characters. Yeah, like, I was pretty damn serious about trying to get the, uh, the final two achievements, and I'm still, I still want to because, you know, I want to complete every single Warriors game, but, you know, I'm not as concerned anymore about going for, like, 100% completion, like, I just want to have fun. That's the biggest thing about me in gaming, is, like, gaming is fun, so why should I try to work for it when what I could do is just, oh, excuse me, what I could do is just, uh, grind and have fun with it, you know? So I'll take it slow, I won't, like, try to rush, necessarily, which is why I'm, like, the, the Guandu in Wei is definitely the best in my eyes, because you, you kind of get the most out of, uh, your time spent, because not only can you get a bunch of officer kills, but you can also get, uh, quite a bit of, uh, like, troop kills. Like, that stage is really easy to get a thousand kills in. So, that, that's my stage for grinding. I don't know, what's your stage for grinding? Leave it down in the comments below. Um, I'd be really interested to see, you know, what kind of, uh, stages you guys use to grind and, like, do you grind for levels? Do you grind for proficiency? Um, do you grind for weapons? Like, it, it's so interesting for me to see, like, people have a specific stage. And I am one of those people that has a specific stage for each game, depending on the thing that I'm grinding. Like, um... Dynasty Warriors 4, it's Lubu's Revolt, um, unless I've got everything maxed out, and all I need to max out is uh, Health and Muso, then I'll go for uh, the Yellow Turban Menace, because you can just run straight towards uh, Zhang Liang or Zhang Bao, I think it's Zhang Liang. Uh, yeah, you can just run straight for him, and just before you get to him, there's the, uh, Muso Wine and Dim Sum. So you just grab those, go kill him, Bob's your uncle. Like, that's one of the quickest ways to max out health and Muso. But if you're playing Lubu's Revolt right, you should be able to max out health and Muso anyways before you even get, um, like, all of the costumes. If you start with a fresh character, you're playing on easy, um, or in the case of Dynasty Warriors 4 Extreme Legends, playing on very easy, just to, like, just because that is a slightly harder stage. Um, so if you're playing on easy, it's, you know, it's recommended to take it slow. Uh, and kill every single troop, but for, uh, if, if you're a little bit stronger, like, pretty much when, once you get, um, I think it's once you get the second weapon, you're good to just skip over some of the troops, uh, and just aim for the officers. Uh, with Dynasty Warriors 3, I think it was... What was the stage that I used? It was either the Yellow Turban Rebellion or Hulao Gate, because yeah, it definitely wasn't Yellow Turban Rebellion. Must have been Hulao Gate that I used a lot, um, especially in Extreme, Le uh, Extreme Legends, because I didn't really play much of the vanilla version, which is gonna change because I want to, you know, play more of the Xbox version and get all of that stuff unlocked. Um, 
But yeah, how, how am I doing for proficiency? Oh, I'm at. Tw I'm gonna be at 13 before the end of this video. That's awesome. So maybe, maybe I will be able to have Zheng Liao's Dynasty Warrior 6 outfit, even if I. What I have to do is um, do like an extra stage on the last episode. I think that's what I'll end up doing. Unless you guys are like, no, we want to see, you know, a, a good variety, then I'll, maybe I'll do a free mode with Jung Liao or whatever. Whoever I have with uh, Dynasty Warrior 6 outfits. Yeah. And like, the reason why I want to play Fire Emblem Warriors, or not Fire Emblem Warriors, I do want to play Fire Emblem Warriors, but the reason why I want to play Fire Emblem Three Houses is because, like, I've been playing games for the sake of making videos for so long that it's actually, it, like, it feels good to make or play a game with no intention of making videos. Like, it just feels good to not have that on your shoulders the entire time but anyways we're done of this episode um if you enjoyed the video and my ramblings give the video a like and subscribe for more there's videos every monday through friday until september where we are moving into just let's play challenges and there's going to be two challenges every week so if you have a challenge for me, leave it down in the comments below. You can tweet at me with the hashtag challenge Chris, or you can join the Discord group. There is a link in the description below, and uh, you can leave your challenges there as well. But if you'd like to help support the channel even further than that, you can join the guild via Patreon, like these awesome people that you're seeing on screen right now. You can join them at the end of every single video for just a dollar a month. And there's other rewards and other tiers as well, so check out the links that you see on screen, and I will see you all down in the comments.